Wow, it's really that time of month. Time to clean the toilet. If you're like me, you don't like cleaning the toilet. In fact, I'm going to tell you a secret. Nobody in the entire world likes cleaning the toilet. They don't look forward to it. They don't have fun doing it. My first tip is to make sure that you're not wearing black. The reason being is if you use any kind of bleach product and it splashes up on you, your black clothing is going to turn the weirdest brown color. So pick something white, something old. I like to clean the toilet in the morning or late at night. The reason I like to clean it in the morning is because after I'm done, I can jump straight in the shower and I'm no longer dirty with all those toilet germs. So I've got my glove on and I'm going to go ahead and open the lid and I'm going to open this part here. As you notice, I use my regular hand and not my glove hand because I'm going to use my glove hand for something even dirtier. So we'll take the cleaning product, which this is my favorite because of the nozzle here. You just squirt it around inside of the rim and wait a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and grab a sponge or a towel or something that I don't mind getting dirty on the toilet. I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to take a little bit of this toilet cleaner and I'm just going to rub all of that pee and dirt and poop and everything off of there. And then I'm going to rinse it out. So see why, see why I have this glove on? Because I get in chemicals on it. Now once I get it all clean there, then I can go ahead and look at doing the underneath of the toilet seat as well as the top of the toilet seat. Now if you don't do this monthly, it gets a lot of grime buildup and not just from pee and poop, from dust, from just the moisture in the bathroom air. Every time moisture gets on this toilet and then dust settles, it leaves dirt, like actual dirt, on the back of the toilet and on the toilet seat. And you're sitting on that a couple of times a day. So now that I'm done cleaning the seat, I'm going to go ahead and grab my trusty toilet brush and scrub the inside. Now here's the tricky part. The rest of it was easy. This is the actual most stumping part of the entire process. What do I do with this now that I am done using it? It was in the toilet. Now it has pee and poop on it. Luckily, the bleaching agent that was in this cleaner is cleaning off all of the germs. So it really doesn't, it doesn't pose as a risk to us. We have two choices. We could either put it in the tub or put it in the trash can. Or you can put it in the sink, but I don't think you want to do that. The tub for me is all the way across the room, so I'm not going to walk all the way over there. So I'm going to go ahead and set it right here in the trash can. And I'm going to wait probably a day or two because I'm not going to get to it before then. I'm going to let it dry. And then when it's done drying, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to put it back behind the toilet and forget about it for at least another month. Thanks for joining me today and good luck cleaning your toilet.